Hello guys, in this video I am going to introduce you to this very nifty tool called as TXT AI. One of the major advantage which I have found out about this tool is that it makes it very easy to run your large language model locally, especially in Linux. If you want to run these models in Windows, you can still do it. All you need to do is to have a Python code. But in Linux, it really shines in terms of speed. But as I said, also compatible with other operating systems. Now, look at this diagram on your screen. And this is all there is to it. A very simple yet very powerful concept. You can do all in one embedding database for semantic search. Embedding database for semantic search means that whenever you provide a text to a large language model, a large language model doesn't understand the text. It has to be converted into tokens and then it has to be chunked and then we have to translate into embeddings or vector representation because that is what the machine learning understands or numerical vector representation in multi-dimensional format. And then those dimensions or vector embeddings or numerical representations, they are stored in the database. That database is called as vector. And as you might know that whenever we need to access a data from a database, we use indexes. Indexes makes it quicker to access the database which is stored in the database columns or rows or wherever. So we need, we create indexes in the vector database. There are two types of indexes or vector indexes. One is called as dense index and the other one is called a sparse index. So sparse vector or sparse index contains sparsely or lightly distributed bits of information. Whereas dense vectors are much more information rich with densely packed information in every dimension. If we use dense vectors or dense indexes, it means that it could be uh, it could be having so many dimensions, even 784 dimensions are, and more are very common. Now, that would be, of course, for a huge data set and a very complex uh, sort of things, but still, it can support it. So, TXT AI makes it very easy because it provides everything in one box. So, you have just one database or one framework or one code from where you just have to worry about how to download the model and run it rest of the stuff like embedding, semantic search, LLM orchestration, and even the workflows, they are taken care by this TXT AI. And look at this. What is happening here is we simply call an API, which I will show you shortly. Then it passes through the pipeline or workflow, and then it creates embedding out of it, and then you can simply do the inference. That's it. So enough theory, let me take you to my terminal, which is my local system, and I will show you how first you can install this TXTA and then how you can download a model and do inference with it. I'm using this Ubuntu system or locally, so let me quickly show you the Ubuntu version. It is a standard Ubuntu release and I have one GPU installed. Ubuntu version is 22.04. Let me clear my screen. Now as a first step, in order to install this txt AI, I need to use a trusted pip command. So pip install txt AI. That's it. Let's run it. It is going to install the txt AI fairly quickly. Let's wait for it to finish. That's done. Okay, let me clear my screen. Now let me fire up my Python interpreter. And here the first thing I need to do is to import the LLM from txt.pipeline. Let's wait for it to finish. Takes a bit of a time first time. So that's done. And now in the second step, all we need to do is to use this LLM function. Here you go. And I'm downloading this tiny llama model from Hugging Face. You can download any model from Hugging Face depending you have the bandwidth and you have the GPUs and memory. So you can see this model is just of 2.20 uh, gig of size and it has already downloaded it. That and it has already already downloaded tokenizer 2. And that's it. So model is done. Now all you need to do is to do the inference on it. So for example, I'm asking it this question. How can I be the most unwanted person in any gathering for sure? I am pass passing this. Let's wait for it to come back. 
So it has printed the response and the response is actually quite nice as you can imagine. Um, this is of course depends on the quality of the model but I'm using Tiny Llama which is a 1.1 billion parameter uh, model. Very lightweight but very powerful and I have done various other videos on it so you can check out my channel and this is the response which is spot on. Now you just imagine you can use this in any of your Python application with any other stuff. You can even fine tune it and then you can use this response and orchestrate it into any other workflow of your application. Now let me see if I can clear it like this. Okay, let me quickly check. Okay, so I need to define my function again. I'm just trying to clear my screen to make it easier to read. And this has nothing to do with this LLM. I just like to keep it neat. Okay, okay, import OS. Sorry guys, I just need to, okay, let's do it again. Okay. Okay, CLS is not installed, unfortunately. Anyway, I will leave it as is. Sorry about that, I thought it will work here. Anyway, so let me do this. I'm asking at another front, I'm asking LLM which came first, chicken and egg, and look at the speed of inference from the local system. And then it has just given us a response which you can check out in your layer. As today is 1st of January, so let me ask it a customary resolution question. So I'm asking it what's the best new resolution you have ever known. Let's see what model thinks. And there you go. It is as this model is not sentinel. It is saying I do not have personal experiences or memories. However, here are some common new year resolutions. So it has, of course, lose weight and all that blah, blah. Um, but all in all, you can see how easy it is just in three steps. First, we just install it one time. We download the model and then we start doing the inference with it. So highly cool uh, tool, I would say this TXT AI very impressed by it and if you go through their website they have a lot of other examples where you can do semantic search you can chat with it and then it is describing some of the stuff which i just gave you the uh, summary about the vectorization indexing and then there are a lot of other things they have also got some uh, notebooks and you can check them out from the github uh, repo and i'll drop the link in video description of course that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it really hats off to the researchers of this tool very impressed by it if you have any questions or if you're stuck anywhere let me know and i'll be happy to help out and of course it always helps if you consider subscribing to the channel and also please share the channel among your network thank you very much